Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Okami. I'm happy to have you here, and I love you all. Uh, so... We left off, we had just opened up this uh, greater area of the forest. We met a wonderful lad. And uh, I think we're gonna make our way towards... Did we, we already restored that tree. All right, so let's, let's take a look around here and see what we've got. Well, now there's something you don't see every day. A white wolf. You look just like that Shiranui. There used to be lots of animals here in Agata Forest, but they started to disappear when the number of monsters increased. Ah, oh, listen to me. Now it's hardly the time for that kind of chat. Oh, he's got more to say, though. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. I don't suppose you bumped into my son in the forest, did you? Narai River was flooded during the storm the other day, you see. The British Yakuza village was completely washed away. I asked my son to get to work on building a new bridge, but he's so busy with that dog of his that he just won't make a start. Two year old more dog my son's so smitten with is called Ume. I found him injured in the forest a long time ago. My son nursed him back to health, so he's a bit overprotective. He's become so soft that he has no sense of adventure now at all. But if a man lives in the forest, there are things he has to do. That's why I'm determined to get him to build a new bridge. I'm sure he can do it, I just have to trust in him and be patient. Yeah. Red Man returns, have I any thoughts on Pal World? I don't like the vibes, if I can be honest. The first time I saw it, I I felt like that was just a, a get-rich-quick scheme in the making, and I'm a little disappointed to see it succeed so heavily. Here, you guys have this. Never mind, they don't want the bomb. Because if I can, if I can be honest, it it doesn't look great to me. I don't like that it's ripping off so blatantly of other things. Oh, why did that fish just explode? Uh, can you not? Here we go. Get. Come on. I'm gonna blast him back to the Stone Age right here. I don't know what's up with this guy. He's not getting back into the... There we go. Come back out, buddy. Here, I got that just for you. Never mind, he didn't want it, apparently. Stay out of the ground, please. That worked. We freed this little patch of d grass. Is that just like a giant walnut? Can I just draw a circle around it just for fun? No, apparently not. Okay. What do you do? Do you like when I draw a circle around you? Yeah, that felt right. I obtained an, in an infinity stone. Ink stone with limitless source. Temporarily enjoy infinite ink. We, uh, I'm, I'm Thanos now. I'm gonna collect all the infinity stones. Oh, it's nighttime now. Actually, on that note, I saw you. Can I... Are you a cut down or are you a bloom? Nope, that's just the sun. It's daytime now, I've decided. Hi there, I see you fishing. 
Oh, poor Ume. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest. What, this? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog Ume and I were exploring a secret place the other day, an ancient building known as the Suta Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we found a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Ume had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. Yeah, this is okay, this is the same question I was gonna ask. If you know where he is, why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and in went the key. Oh, okay, I thought he was just a, a wuss and didn't want to go back. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah. Well, dang, sucks to be you. I'll bite him. I've tried my hardest to fish out the key to the ruins, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Okay. Man, this kid's a crybaby. Give him a good headbutt, Ammy. Maybe that'll straighten him out. Oh boy. Go get it. Ouch. No, cut that out. I like, I like that sometimes the solution to the problem is beat the shit out of the kid. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins, so you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But... Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever, it all can be yours. I wouldn't recommend trying to catch babes with a fishing rod, but you know what? Pop off, Isn. Go ahead. Act like you're having fun. We'll watch. Oh no. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to get him the fish. I'm gonna have to get him whatever he's catching. Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom. But that's not why these waters are famous. Legend had is that a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agatha Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun. Fun! Okay, Amy. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. I have to do all the work. Okay, so I have to draw a line from the pole to the fish, move the stick in the opposite direction of the fish's movement. If I pull too hard, his life will deplete. <laughs> oh boy. And then quick time event and power slash to catch the fish. Oh my goodness, there's so much. Okay, well, let's start by drawing a line to that fish. Oh, did I actually get a bite? Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might. You'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. Okay, so it's, it's just left or right. Oh. I forgot there's a critical part that I missed, and it's the power slash. just murdered that crab. I caught river crab. Yeah, you, uh, you hooked that one. Alright. Are we gonna help him catch the enormous fish that swallowed the moon? <laughs> they look so dead. A killifish. Well, I'd certainly killed that fish. Oh my goodness. It's the big boy. It's... it's the big boy. It's... the big... boy. Just... he's... he's there. 
he's there. I swear. Okay, there we go. He that took so much. We almost got him. What? Okay. Look at him. Look at him. He's so catchable. Wake up, Furball. Didn't you see the fish? What do you mean, didn't I see the fish? There we go. I thought I've been doing a pretty good job. I caught giant salmon. Well, I think that went swimmingly. Aha. That thing is huge. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah, you're telling me. Hmm? Hey! That's the ruins key. It's a weird looking key. Popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Ume over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away from me now. <laughs> Yoink. Bye, kid. Hey, give that back. <laughs> Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting hurt on your... We can't have the kid getting hurt on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suta Ruins. Eh, sucks to be you, kiddo. Deep Abyss. This is the famous Deep Abyss of Agata Forest. Yeah, that tracks. Okay, uh, where... I assume this way. Bye, loser. Exorcism Slip S and a wooden bear. Though carved from wood, it is as fearsome as the real thing. True. I would be afraid of a carved bear. What does that even mean, Lex? <laughs> also, hey. Glad, glad to see you here. You're looking cute. <laughs> Alright, I am on the way to... an old temple that we gotta get in here. If you're trying, I appreciate that. Let me, let me blow open this wall. Please? I just... Oh, right, I need to do that for the bomb. Hmm? Hey, get a load of this statue's face. It's got the same blank expression as you. Wow, that's rude. Completely uncalled for. I'll cut the statue in half. No, apparently I won't. Good luck with your dailies. Get all your... Impact all those Genshins. Oh, a hydrate. Thank you. This one's for you. Ah, good. That looks like a portal to evil. Well, let's go look for that kid's dog. I'm actually hoping we might find something more. Nobody's entered these ruins for ages, right? Just think about it. There could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden down there. <laughs> but enough talk, let's start looking. Ah, you say that. Instead, I'm gonna headbutt this treasure chest. Enhancing weapons? Hold on. I wanna know about this. Can be powered up with gold dust. The destructive power. Okay, gold dust can be used only once and only on a single weapon. Note that even weapons powered up using this method cannot exceed the power of inherently stronger weapons obtained later. I see how it is. Okay, let's 
Let's clear out this little thing first real quick. Let's just leave this guy a little bomb while he's laying on the ground. That's for you, pal. I hope you enjoy it. Worth it. Alright, where's where's this guy? Hey stupid. You're in luck. I got you a thing. It's not quite working for me. But now that he's coming out of the ground here... Bye. Okay, the first one apparently didn't get him. Oh no. I feel so bad, I kind of slashed his entire ass in half. Nobody should have to deal with that pain. Alright, well that solved that issue. Oh, hey, it's you! Hmm? Not you again, Fido. Why must you always dog my footsteps? Well, that's because I'm a dog. I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson something or other. And it's rumored to have 100 followers. Dude, look at my TikTok. I've got more followers than that. What do you mean, Crimson something or other? The, the name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Takapas of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Takapas is out, so why rush? But have no fear. Once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. No, I can't bite him. Here. Down, Fido. Oh, did he just try to... He's trying to slash me the sword. I'm gonna... Alright, I bit him a couple times. I wanted to see if I stayed still if he would actually if he'd actually do it. And he did. All right, let's get, let's get in here. That guy really just hit a dog with a sword. We're going to ignore the fact that the dog tackled him first. Oh, that's a lot of poison-looking stuff in these ruins. I'm sure it's fine. Alright, how do we want to start this? It's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. And what's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there, Furball. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? I will in a second. Enhancing divinity. And a traveler's charm. Alright, so that's a save point. We'll actually use that real quick. We'll take a little we'll take a little peek around. Make sure everything's on the up and up around here. What is this? It's one solid wall. Even that hard head of yours won't work. Huh? Did this wall just move? Nah, impossible. Let's keep going. That's definitely a living thing. 
I'm just gonna leave a bomb here for him and move on for now. I think I put it on the other side of him? Yeah, alright. That's probably fine. Whoa! Never mind. Um... The lily pads on this water just not meant to work? Because, like... It, ju it definitely just died. Okay, so let's, let's not try going in the water for now. We'll explore off to the side instead. Oh! I, did, I didn't realize that was one of the evil trees until it was about to throw shit at me. Yeah, honestly, like, the water looks just fine. Some nice, a lot of grape juice. Some people would say that's the best Kool-Aid flavor. They would be wrong, but they'd say it. Buzz, whose unique beauty will surely outlast any flower. Until I shatter it with my skull. Oh, there's actual water in here. That's nice. And one of the bastard trees. Hey. Get well soon. There you go. You feeling better now? Feeling a little less like a jerk? This place is in need of a lot of upgrades. Like, for example, trees that don't try to kill me. It's one of my favorite things to have in a, in a space. An incense burner. That's nice. Ooh, parkour. Never mind. Gotta be gotta be better at parkour. Dog parkour all the way, baby. Alright, uh what is up here that would be so nice? Ooh, a dig spot. That's, that's nice, I guess. Not quite what I was looking for, but you know, it's it is nice. All right. Oh, cutscene. Okay, that was very nice. Thank you. Nothing in the water for me to take. Closer lily pad for a second. That and that. All right. Oh no, we have to push a ball down a path. All right. Wish me luck. Apparently headbutting it doesn't work. What's up with this round stone? It's much heavier than it looks. 
Doesn't look like it'll budge no matter how hard you push or pull it. Oh, all right. Who are you? Hello. You were, you looked nicer before the mask came out. Can we cut his wings? Whoa. Okay, now look for a chance to use your celestial brush. Still, this thing sure got a tough bud. I wonder if you could open its bud before you attacked it. Well, I did just blow him up. Well, that seemed to work. Oh, he left a big flower. Oh, and now the ball has been... De-stoned. Okay, so sometimes killing an enemy will unlock a mechanic for use. So I can't just skip every enemy I see. That's unfortunate. first go, but I tried my best. Oh, these are all breakable. In that case... That was... That felt like it was worth it. wasn't enough. Can I just use it on them whenever? I guess I... Oh, they just get pissed off if I do it that way. This works. One down. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. things in the game change color when they become exposed to a brush power. That makes sense. I like that his, uh, his ball is his weak point, and I can get extra damage by slashing at it when he is weakened. Oh, look at his moves! I'm sorry, I really like that there's basically no ran run animation here. It's just Ami spinning in a circle, like rotated 45 degrees to the side. It's good stuff. Alright, I just wanted to see if I could do anything with the log. Alright. Well, now that this room is nice and clear. Oh wait, can I examine it? Wow, get a load of the size of these mushrooms. I kind of feel sorry for them though, it's so gloomy here. I bet a little sunshine is all it would take to perk them up. Well, aren't we in luck? 
that the sky is right over there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they, they perked up. I don't even... So... I can't tell if... Oh, I found grapes. Okay, I can't tell if this is where I'm supposed to be or if this is like the, the side path for the area. I accidentally let go of the bumper when I was trying to draw that bomb. Okay, this feels like the intended path. I'm gonna go look at the other spots real quick. Because I am nothing if not an explorer. I don't think I can physically make it up that wall in the state that I'm in right now. You. All right, well, that was a very short side path to explore. Okay, there's some path to get me over there. Just don't know where that would be off the top of my head. Probably just got to keep going this way and it'll make itself known to me. That's just a big hole. Alright, what fresh hell is this? N nothing to say? A Amy, hold on a sec. My nose has felt all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. Oh no, don't sneeze. Achoo! Dang it! Oh, that's how we're doing this. Understood. Good thing I'm a fast runner. Imagine sneezing a whole cavern apart. Whoa, I've made a foolish error. Um, huh. Hi. Blockhead. Aha! I am Blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Er, wait, make that none shall pass. Do you really think you can penetrate my airtight defense? Ha! Ah, impossible. Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow from there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way. None shall pass. <laughs> oh. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, that tickles. Now you shall feel my wrath. Oh.
Oh, do I have to poke the points? Hey, Amy, did you see that? Glowing spots appear on his body when he's excited. How about painting a dot on them in the order they appear? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Aha! Huh? Were my weak points so obvious? I failed, but let it be known, I died a warrior's death. Damn, that's unfortunate for you, dude. Oh my goodness, okay. Thank goodness it gave us a path back up through doing that. This looks like an exercising arrow for driving away evil, but its tip is shaped like a key. In any case, I do sense its divine power for driving away evil. Munch. Alright. So I just have to be careful not to jump to my own death from here. I was so excited to get to those statues that I just... Oh! Did I just... Did I just do the intended solution because I was greedy? I never even looked at that door to see the lock on it. I just saw those little, those three little statues and I was like, hmm, I could get like some money drops from them if I were to go break them. And like, it wouldn't have even been worth it. But I fell and I defeated the thing and now I've unlocked the door. Good for me, honestly. I don't know why that worked out so well in my favor, but I will take it any day. stuff. We'll just go right on. Never mind, we won't go right on past these guys. Say goodbye to your ass, dude. very smoothly the whole way through. Does that... Do these bloom? They don't. They don't need to. Alright. Ah, uh, yes. The bridge is out. It almost feels like... If I were to paint here, you know, fill in the spot, perhaps? Whoa. Who could have predicted this? All right, ominous save point. We love that for us. Weird statue. Oh, a little side room that nobody asked for. Wait, is this... I almost had that. Come on. Thank you. Alright, I think I'm too far away for that to register. I guess we'll head into this uh, inconspicuous looking doorway where surely nothing could go wrong. 
hint everything's going to go wrong. There are multiple demon spots here. I'm sure that's fine. Just gonna break these real quick for no reason other than to let out some frustration. I guess you can't go wrong by going to the right one first. Bring it on, boys. Tried to put the fish in the tree. Which is not a sentence I've ever tried to say before. I got a large spirit globe from that fish. Well, that one just actually worked out very nicely for me. I feel like the others. One of these has got to be just awful for me, right? Before this guy digs into the ground, let's hit him with a bomb. Is he already dead? Oh no, he's down there. Come on. Hey, buddy. This is for you. Those are... I feel like those were too easy. Yo, holy bone. And a lacquerware set. Each piece of this Japanese lacquerware is said to be unique. Nice. Alright, so I have a feeling once I clear this out, the, the poison water might stop flowing. The other option is that that's also realistic, is that the poison is obviously flowing from much higher... And just clearing out this area won't be enough to completely stop the flow. I gotta slash once for that. Slash twice to break his stuff. Hey, you guys. Oh. Can I send that back? Yeah, I can. You are ready to be drawn on. And I'll break your balls. And I'll do it again, too. See, just like that. Ah, more mushrooms. the sun. Here it comes. Ooh, all right. That's that's where the poison is originating from. It was, I was pretty much on the money with saying that it would stop once I cleared this area because, I mean, what else is there to do? But stop it, now that I've cleared this area. Bye. Oh, hold on. Alright, bye for real. And I opened up the chest too by accident. Okay, for a second I thought the water was turning green, but it's just... It just glows green as it's changing back to normal water. Oh, I don't need lily pads anymore. Sick. I don't like where that portal is situated, if I can be honest, but it's fine. Looks like the poison that was polluting this water is completely cleared up. Now it looks like a great place for a swim. There's even a waterfall. 
I bet it'd be loads of fun to go straight down it. Uh, what I meant was a playful dog like Ume might do that. I haven't forgotten about what we're looking for. Have you? And, of course, <laughs> I haven't given up on hunting down some treasure, either. Oh, it's nice that that treasure chest resealed itself. So to Ruins map. Fantastic. Alright. Let's try this out. Alright. Uh, I mean, that was, that was fun jumping down there. Alright, well, it was, it was nice while it lasted. Is the plan to just go right down the main waterfall? In which case... Let's go. Oops. I got the boing. I think that's what I'm gonna... Actually, do I have enough? I don't. I was gonna say, probably ink pot is the next thing I'm gonna spend my, uh, my hard-earned money on. Alright, let's go. This looks like it's nothing to worry about. Space up a little bit, make it look a little nicer. Just think of how nice this place must have been before the death and the rot and the death seeped in, you know? We're bringing it back to its former glory. Come on. There we go. Now perhaps we'll learn how these things work. Hey, look, that light. There's a constellation here, too. I mean, yeah, there is. Just, uh, top that up. Is, oh, he's, he's big monkey. I thought he was about to face plant hard. Did he get it? Alright. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I, Sutagami, the last in the triumvirate of Hanigami Flora Gods, have humbly awaited your glorious return for 100 years. Dude, this guy is the symbol of patience. Get it? The symbol? Anyway. May the fresh spring growth bloom from your snow-white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. Oh, 
Look at this guy and his funky little dance moves. May they rest in peace. That was Sudagami, the third and final god of Flora. He's the god that can make vines do his bidding. One folk tale, t one folk tale tells how Sutagami used that power to tie vines to his body so that he could fly through the air. Hey, that's a Konohana blossom, the flower of the gods over there. Try making a vine sprite right sprout right out of it. So close yet so far. Draw a line from the Konohana blossom to to my body. Okay. Oh. Perfect. Wow, it sure is handy to have a god around. You can draw out vines when the Konohana blossom is open. Let's look around and see if any others are blooming. Nyom. All right, so I have essentially a, a nature grappling hook. That's pretty sick. And we out of here. Okay, so that'll be something that we can definitely use later as we climb this. So we have a path back up if we fall, which is... Very nice and appreciated. Let's take a look. I'm not on screen enough for it to count. There we go. Nice of new ones to just appear in the air ahead of us. Oh. They just dumped me un very unceremoniously onto there. But hear me out. What if I... What if I attach that to here? Yes. Don't boing at me. I've got work to do. That is precarious. Yeet. If I get trapped in here forever, you know, I get trapped in here. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so satisfying. Pew. Here I am, making an absolute mess of this place. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Man, if that doesn't feel like a boss battle prep room, I don't know what does. That's like when you walk into a room in Doom, and it's, the, the room is just... Like, the door in, tables full of guns and ammo, and then another door out of the room. Hold on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna blow out the candles just for fun. Oh, absolutely, serial killer reception room. You're right. Alright, no candles for you. Oh, there's just so many candles. Never mind. I don't have the patience to get all of them. Godhood tips? I mean, I... Maybe I could use some pointers. It's been a while since I've been a god. And I hear it's tough to be a god. Godhood tips and a holy bone. OK, 
Okay, praises earned by restoring nature and feeding animals. Okay. Godhood tips. String attacks into combos to increase your level of godhood. Godhood creates a barrier that deflects enemy attacks. Running from battle like a coward or dying in water or a curse zone will result in your godhood being reduced to a skull symbol. This weakens you considerably and leaves you susceptible to attack. I'm sorry, I love that running from battle, you know, like a coward, will mean you are no god. Thank you, Skulls, for spitting up all that fruit for me. Very kind. Alright, let's see what we've got in store here. We really gonna go in there? Really? Are you serious? I'm getting a real bad vibe here. Let's be on this door. You sure we're ready? Maybe we should go back outside. Yeah, we're ready. Come on. All right, then. Let's go for it. Leap first, think later. Dude, that's what I do best. I just I just finished Assassin's Creed. I've gotten so good at leap first, think later. Look at me. There's a golden gate. It'll store the memories of all you've done if you pass through it. That way, if you ever die, you can start over again from that point. It's a free pass to continue with your game even after you mess up. But it does have its limits. The stored memories will be wiped clean if you quit the game. If you use an origin mirror to save a game, your memories will be transferred there. Either way, passing through a golden gate or saving with an origin mirror will allow you to continue your adventure. Well, we might as well pass on through. I like that he's just... He's aware that we're in a game, but this is the only time he ever talks about it. Alright, memories of all you've done stored in the golden gate. Hello, Ray. Welcome. Hope you're having a good evening so far. Wow, we we took a tumble there. Are, are we dead? Oh, nice going, Furball. Keep telling you not to space out like that. In my defense, it was a cutscene. I didn't have any input. Hey, uh, something moved. Whoa. No, don't walk up to it. Listen, you're gonna. Listen, if you if you go any closer, you're gonna turn into Wusson, <laughs> like like was past tense. Heavy night by you, but you had a fine evening. Well, that's good to hear. I'm glad. Check out this big old flower. We just might have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. What? You're gonna die. Oh, it's also packed with dog. Hey, is that a dog down there? Oh. Alright, well, I'm glad we were here to, to make sure he could still be Issen. I'm glad you liked it, Ray. Hey, let me go, Wolf Breath. I'm all covered with your slobber again. Listen, if anybody's going to eat you for sustenance, it's going to be me. Check out that shadow. I see eight. Wait, it couldn't be. Oh, dang. We're already at the final showdown. Let's go. <laughs> Are you that dog that has been sniffing about? I will not allow you to ruin my master's triumphant return. Apparently my Windows license will expire soon. I just got a pop-up about that in the middle of this cutscene. Not the time. Oh, hello there. Sticking your nose where it does not belong will get you killed. Speak your last words, fool. Uh... What's up? How dare you! Dog is not usually on my menu, but I shall make you an exception. What are you talking about? I saw that dog you gobbled up. And besides, this ain't no dog. This here is a god. Well now, the beast can speak. 
Okay, well, if you're paying attention, ma'am, the, the dog is not the one speaking. Very well, then. I shall send you back to where you came from. This shall not hurt a bit. Stand still for just a moment. Uh, I'll pass. I'm... I'm good with... I'll, I'll do my own thing, you know? So... Come here often? Can I... Oh, okay. I think I think I I think I'm starting. To, I think I get it. I gotta. I I think I gotta draw from these to the back of her. Oh. Let's not get caught up in that, actually. Okay, so we we know we know the idea. We get the vibes. Let's go from there to here. There to here. And then from there. Actually, does it work to draw a bomb in her gullet? Seems to. There we go. She doesn't seem happy with that. Alright. Come at me. If you didn't do what you're about to do, just a crazy thought. Oh. Okay, I just have to outrun her for a second. Moment of truth, everybody. <laughs> okay, the the running out of ink sound, the like, boing, is the funniest thing to have come up on the final blow of a boss fight. Like, here we are, fighting for the fate of the world, when... Boing? And thus, Amaterasu was able to traverse the vine-covered ruins and defeat the devious Spider Queen lurking within. The ugly arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned throughout the ruins. Inside the hardy blossom was discovered a tiny and defenseless dog, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. Just when everything had begun to settle down, Snarling Beast, a weapon long sealed away by the Spider Queen's magic, appeared before Amaterasu's eyes. Yo, we get new stuff? Is that a... Did we just acquire Beyblade? You obtained Divine Instrument Snarling Beast. Reflector marked with a beastly seal grants ink bullet power. The Spider Queen was hiding a sacred weapon. Tricky old bag. Hmm. Maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, I can't wait to see what this one does. Dude, me neither, honestly. And look at that, Amy. The dog's just sleeping. Wonder if this is Ume. You know, the dog that kid was looking for? Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first... How about a good victory howl? Might even wake him up. Oh, 
Oh, look at us go. We're such a good boy. Or I guess good girl. Would you like to save the game? Of course. I just got an achievement. Big ol' flower. And ain't that the truth. <laughs> We're just dragging him out by the scruff. Bad doggy. Give me back my key. I gotta go save Ume, quick. Wait, wait, huh? Ume, is that you? Are you okay? Okay, but the kid, if he was that worried about the key, we stole the key like an hour ago. He could have come into the ruins, but he's meeting us outside, like a coward. You're not hurt, are you? You must have been so scary all alone. <laughs> Just yeet him into the sky. What's wrong, Ume? Oh, he's mad about being left behind. About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins, and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Ume? You mad at me for running away without you? I mean, yeah, I could be too. You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? But why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone, even a dog, could have an adventure. Look at it this way. There's not much separating a boy from a man. They grow up before you know it, and accomplish great things. I see. So I guess you knew everything, Ume. Like how my dad told me to go fix the bridge, destroyed by the storm. And how I tried to get out of it, because I was scared of failing. But your fearless adventure has changed me. You've given me the courage to stop shirking responsibility. Oh, look at his tail go. He is just so happy. <laughs> My dad's fishing pole. I lost that in the forest some time ago. Where was he keeping that? Did you sniff it out in those ruins? All by yourself? Well, I'm going to fix that bridge all by myself. Boy, is dad going to be surprised. And off, and off he fucked. Alright, well, I think we've done a good thing here. Okay, uh... Let's take a look at our logbook. And see what's up. Okay, he's gonna go build the bridge. His dad wants me to find him and tell him to build the bridge. So I'm going to guess up this way is where the bridge is going to be. Because that river looks like it could use a bridge. Oh, a merchant. But I am going to steal your stuff for a second. Battle tips. Oh, how funny. I don't think I've seen a white wolf before. What's your name? What? Come on, tell me your name. You may only be a wolf, but manners are manners. The name's Issen, and this furball here is Amaterasu. That's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with Chalky, shall we? As for me, I'm the infamous Fang Trader. Yes, I am the Great Kiba. I, I mean, yeah? Now then, Chalky, you know about monster leftovers, right? You know, what you get when you defeat a monster? I'm talking about the demon fangs. All you need to do is tan those monsters' hides and they drop a demon fang just before they disappear. The aristocrats love to have them as a symbol of power. They'll pay any price you care to ask. So then, Chucky, got any of them on you? <laughs> Naturally, I don't expect you to give them to me for free. I, the great Kiba, have collected treasures from all over Nippon. We can do a swap. Sure, let's see what, let's see what you got. You have... I don't have enough money to pay for just about anything. Uh, 
Make a cash offering and sleep on this mat and your wounds will heal. Alright, well... Sorry, buddy, but I am too poor for you. Let's take a look. I assume this is where the bridge is. Yeah. Is this too thick to be destroyed by conventional means? Almost certainly. Yeah, all right. That's a lot of water, by the way. Hey! <laughs> I lassoed the rope to the other side. Look! Hey, you there! Get that rope out of my way! Oh, goodness. Wait. Wait. His boat looks like it has a suspicious amount of hooks on it. Are his hooks going to catch the rope and then that's going to make the bridge? Huh? Susano? What's going on? My new secret technique. Imploding barrel, flying monkeys, was a flop. I ended up being washed downstream on this tree trunk. Here he comes. Hold on to that fishing pole, kid. No, wait, let go of it. No, you guys, I said let go. Emmy, use your celestial brush, quick. Okay, fine. Start. What am I supposed to be doing? Here, I'll put a I'll put a bomb on the raft. Oh, okay, here we go. Well, I just about whiffed that one. too far out to do anything with. That one. It's under the ink pen, but it's there. I keep whiffing them. I just need to be... There we go. Right there. Please. I am begging of you. There we go. I had to try like eight times on that one. Oh my goodness. We fixed the bridge. Ooh, thought we were goners, but it all worked out. Just look at that new bridge. And did I do that? Yeah, you did, kid. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It was all you, kid. Oh, we're gonna ruin so many lives, making people think they can do things they can't. I don't know what was eating you, but you'll never get anywhere in life running from adventure. You should thank your doggy for teaching you that. I couldn't have done it without you, Ume. Thanks. Hey, where'd Pops go? I'm sure it'd take more than that to kill <laughs> to kill the guy. Yeah, he's bound to pop up somewhere again. I mean, I guess. Damn. Wait, did it? Oh no, it didn't put me over the river yet. I gotta go over here still. Ink bullet tips. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have a we have a new thing.
We'll, we'll mix it up a little bit. Taka Pass lies ahead. Great Plains in the mountains. Let's prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Well, let's get going, you big furball. We'll see. Ah, yeah, this place looks like there's some, some evil. So, Taka Pass has been cursed too. I bet we'll find a withered guardian sapling around here. Hello there, you guys. Oh, what's going to become of me now? That confounded curse zone is causing all sorts of trouble. And my most precious tool of the trade has gone missing too. I just don't know how I'm going to make a living anymore. No doubt this is the work of those mischievous moles. I bet they're the ones who stole from me. And on top of that, I have to put up with that awful cursed zone. How about you, buddy? Oh, the tea customer. No. I wonder what's become of Kusa Village now. It's up on Mount Kamiji where the big windmill is. I've heard some terrifying growls coming from the shrine there. And I ran down the mountain as fast as my legs would carry me. Then I realized that this area was all cursed too. I never imagined that monsters would come anywhere near us. Looks like the end of the world is finally here. Yeah, I wonder... Yeah, okay. This is... I only had one little errand to run in Kusa, but now I can't even get past the city checkpoint to go home. Dang, that sucks, dude. Taka Pass is another place that's changed for the worse. It used to be so nice to relax in the divine wind up here, but now it's just stopped blowing altogether. That means I'm hardly doing any trade in talismans at all. And there aren't many travelers coming by selling things either. A fresh fish from Agata Forest would fetch a fortune right now. But there don't seem to be any good fishermen there anymore. Anyway, enough of my complaining. Been sent to buy something, pooch? Yeah, alright. Wait, I can just... I can just sell the giant salmon? Bye. Oh, I'm rich. What do you what do you have for sale, buddy? Nothing useful to me. How am I supposed to engage in capitalism if you don't have anything to sell that I want? Alright, so our our tree that we're looking for is way the heck up there, which means we've gotta get way the heck up there. Which means probably up this little, uh, bombable path here. To the famous tree, Cherry Breeze. Tree, huh? I wonder if it's one of those saplings. Yo, Trojan Horse in the cave? Hi. Oh, I cut its head off. I feel kind of bad. Ooh, this is a nice little spot. Hark, the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Oh, it's... it's our boy. How are you doing? Waka, the god's gift to man is here. Bonjour! And you again. Long time no see. Did you enjoy the little log adventure I prophesied? Why, you... Were you behind that near disaster? What? Of course not. I just had a fleeting glimpse of your future. You see, I have the power to see that which is yet to come. Even if it were something you'd rather not know. The half-baked prophet's at it again. If you're so great, then how come you didn't predict Orochi's return? <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? Is he gonna want to fight again? Excusez-moi? You say something, my little bouncing friend? Oh no, the, the, the sword's coming out. That's it! By the way, 
I saw your battle with the spider lady. A rather clumsy attempt, I must say. How could a washed up old wolf like you possibly expect to save the world? Ridiculous! This guy's throwing accusations around. What? You were spying on our battle? And it never crossed your mind that you could help out? Oh no, do I just get to watch the two of them fight? Enough talk! There's only one way to settle this. Just go for it! Here. Have a bomb. Merry Christmas. Ow. The, the moves with the, uh... With the, like, the, the seed bullet. I'm just becoming a Pokemon. Come on. Can I send that back at him? There we go. Pant, pant. Not bad, Meshuri. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath. What do you want, anyway? Oh, I almost forgot. I had a question for you. Have you been to Lake Harami over on Shinshu Field yet? In the middle stands the moon cave where Orochi's spirit was trapped. A barrier has blocked the entrance ever since Tsukiyomi was removed. That means Orochi must still be in there. I want to get through the barrier and enter the cave. But I'll need the serpent crystal in order to do that. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it, would you? Dude, I thought you were a prophet. Why'd you have to pull out your sword just to ask that? And why do you want to visit Orochi's lair anyway? So then you do not know, Trebian. Hmm. So that big windmill. Mumble, mumble. At any rate, I shall just have to find it myself. But before I bid you adieu, I have a prophecy for you. What do you got, buddy? I foresee a doggone difficult quest. Au revoir, baby. Thank you for the pun. Much appreciated. Hey, Amy, let's try and beat Walker to that serpent crystal. I can't help feeling he's up to no good. Plus, we just might find a new celestial brush technique, too. Did this guy quit just jumping on my head all the time? It's quite rude. Uncalled for. I just want to make sure, actually. There was something... Is there a reason that this specific... Part of the bridge is out. I'm sure that's fine. Or the the railing. That's not OSHA compliant. I'm almost positive of that. Another chest on fire that we can't do anything about. Yet. 
but perhaps soon. Alright, and we're coming back out of this cave. Perfect. We've been making good time so far. We'll fix these trees on the way just in case. Another bridge out. But not for long, baby. So much bridge. And now so much tree. Here we go. Now the now the tea people can get what they want. Man. Maybe I'll make myself some tea after the stream. Cause now they've got me, they've got me wanting some. Oh, look how pretty this place looks now that it's not decaying and full of evil. If only the real world could be like that. Taka Pass is back to normal now. Without the curse zone, it'll be easier to find brush techniques. But first, that big windmill has really piqued my interest. Didn't that half-baked prophet mumble something about it? Ah, whatever. It's not going anywhere anyhow. Let's take a good look around Taka Pass, okay? I'm a bit worried about the people who live here. That's not the map. Okay, well, we'll clear this out first real quick. Get off my back. Come on, buddy. Is it time? There we go. We're such good dog. Look at all this nature I'm creating. I keep opening the wrong menu. We were low on ink pot earlier. It's something we keep running low on. <gasps> the moles! Hey, 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 stop right there. How dare you walk around our turf without permission? I won't let you get away with it. I'm Moly of the Molsters. Molster leader, Moly. All the territory beneath Taka Pass is under our control. We can't just allow people to come wandering in as they please. How are we supposed to relax with intruders like you around? I'll have to get you to leave some of that behind to make up for it. You know what I mean. That gold-colored thing used in shops. Oh, I'm not giving away my money. Oh, I get it. You're just a pack of thieves extorting money. Well, pigs will fly before you shake us down. We should teach you a lesson. <laughs> You've got some nerve. Fine. If that's the way you want it, you'll regret this. Come on, men. Molsters, the special dust cloud formation. Oh boy. Well, 
Wait, it's just whack-a-mole? We won't let you at the boss. He smacked me. When we mean business, we mean business. All right, which one's the boss in? Got him. It'll take a lot more than that to hurt me. If you want to fight, let's fight properly. Whoa, he changed positions. Urgh, trying to pick a fight, are you? Then try this on for size. They're lying. They're lying constantly. Urgh, I don't understand it. How do you manage to stand up to our special dust cloud trick? <laughs> Had enough of hard-headed Ami? That'll teach you. Don't mess with the gods, Furface. Crime doesn't pay. Remember that. Unless you're already rich, in which case, go for it. Nobody cares. I expect you guys to stay on the straight and narrow now. I do know the difference between right and wrong. It's just that, well, I was lonely. No matter how long I wait down here, no one comes to see me. That's why I behaved the way I did. I just wanted to get your attention, that's all. Please, White Doggy, will you be my friend? Can I headbutt him again right now? I promise I'll behave myself from now on. Honest. You're just what I need, doggy. If you stay, then I won't have to be lonely anymore. Uh, this is just getting stranger by the minute. I know I shouldn't show my feelings like this. I'll go back underground now and shed my tears in private. I suppose it's goodbye then. Come back and visit soon, won't you, doggy? So this... Lady said she was missing something for her tea, right? So I assume that this is this is that something. Hey. There was an awful curse zone here before, but it's gone now. Should be business as usual again. But those mischievous moles took my most precious of belongings. I can't possibly get on with my work without it. Hey, that's my precious teacup, isn't it? Did you snatch it back from those meddlesome moles for me? Oh, Thank you. This is my good luck charm for doing good business. Well, one good deed deserves another. Here. Golden mushroom? What do you think? It's pretty impressive, eh? Customer, a customer of mine gave it to me as payment a while back. It's got such a divine air. I had no idea what to do with it. It's yours now anyway, Pooch. Do with it what you will. Uh, what if... Oh, I could have sworn it would have been something that I could sell. I thought that would have been really funny. Okay, let's take a look around. Uh, we've taken care of the mole situation. I figure we can check out whatever that big-ass gate is. And this house also. Oh, this is an ominous place. Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Hey, you. Yeah, I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. You'll do nicely, little mutt. Oh. The horrible Mrs. Cutter. You should keep us going until my husband catches us a big beast. You must have a death wish, you miserable mutt. What a disgusting well. I guarantee you this water will give you the runs, even if you're a god. Uh... Why is Mrs. Cutter the worst? Oh, another another stray bead. Okay, uh... Mrs. Cutter. What a dilapidated old house. Its rotted pillars are collapsing. But we can get on top of the house by climbing up this one.
Dude, I'm totally breaking into your house. Looks like this one part's been covered with wooden panels. Pretty sloppy job, I must say. I bet you could easily smash it to bits. Yeah. Like... With a bomb, maybe? Yeah. Alright, what does Miss Cutter have in her house? Aside from a lot of bones. I'll just help redecorate for a second. What a wreck. The sun's shining through a hole in the roof. It's one big hole. Bet you could even see the moon through it at night. But this is no place to be talking about gazing at the moon. Hmm, that'll surely not be relevant later. Alright, well, I'm happy to trash her house. Step away from the pot, Furball. That smells nasty. Oh no, I've accidentally run out the front door. What are you doing hanging around here again, Mutt? I won't let you get away so easily this time. Okay, so she doesn't have any different reaction if I... There's got to be something. Because I got up here, I opened up the, uh, the roof so that we could see in at night. We'll have to we'll have to come back here and take a look later. Cutter's house, strangers not welcome. Good to know, I guess. Bark bark. Takusa Village. Who's barking at me? Oh, hey. I don't know if I have feedback for you. Dang. Sorry, buddy. Here, maybe? No, I, I can't do that. I can't. She wants to eat dog. I can't just feed her a dog. That's, that's, that ain't right. Oh. Let's get some, let's get some good water here for the people. Oh. Here, have have some seeds. Here we go. just plant a tree under him as well, just for funsies. Just uppercut his jaw off of the rest of his body. Here you go. Now this place can be much nicer. Oh wait, does that mean... Does that mean the cutter, the cutters will actually have some nice water? It's so wonderful that the Mermaid Spring has come back to life. Maybe it's thanks to the legendary powers of the mermaids. Have you heard the story? This spring's like a path for them. Sometimes they come up from the bottom of the ocean. There are other springs just like this all across Nippon. The mermaids come up to the ground to visit their favorite places. See? Part of the water's surface is shining faintly. If you throw a mermaid coin in there, the path will open up. Huh? Mermaid coin. 
Is that what they call uh, a lily pad? All right, guess not. Is Mrs. Cutter looking any less murderous? No, just as bloodthirsty as ever. There's just something... Something down there, too. Okay, so there's also a gate here. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Huh, pushing this wall's exhausting. Ah, have you caught the scent of it too, Pooch? The scent of the secret place that welcomes only the good hearted. The scent of Sasa Sanctuary. Everyone that tries to go there gets lost around here. That sacred gate there has to be a clue. This must be the place. And this is just between you and me, but... Sasa Sanctuary is where all the sparrows live, right? Well, I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of there. So I'm sure the sanctuary must be around here somewhere. Aha, well, funny thing, buddy. Bye. Alright, well, I, got, I gotta know about this sanctuary. I gotta... Gotta see what's so cool about it. It's only here for the for the the good of heart, the kind, the poggers, the poggers doggers. That's awful. Bamboo Village Sasa Sanctuary. Hmm, don't you just love the smell of bamboo? Looks like there's a road here. Let's see where it takes us. Hey, hey, hey! Hey you, Scruffy! What are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? Skipping in here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know this is the turf of the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave. Oh no. We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Is it just gonna be a big bird? Holy shit, it really is a big bird. Hey Scruffy, do you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right, the Great Jamba. Big Daddy Jamba? All hail. I, I'm... I found a new god. Okay, boss, take it away. He's all yours. Chirp. <laughs> Uh-oh. The boss is seriously angry. The heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss's precious daughter's been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on, off with you. And, and off he went. They're not gonna let us in? What was that about their boss's daughter being kidnapped? All right, well, I... Oh, it's nighttime now. Oh, let's go back and see, uh, let's go back and see the old lady. Because, I mean, something happened with her house. Okay, so she's not hanging out outside. Tombstones out here. Doesn't look like anyone ever visits. It's kind of sad. Wait, does it say the water is nicer now? Yeah, okay, the water will still give me the runs even if I am a god. Oh, not trying to jump in there. I just want to see... What is, what is she doing in here? Hmm. 
Light of the full moon sure looks eerie in here. Monsters can't control themselves when exposed to such light. We should drag any suspicious characters we see into this light. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Food. Nice juicy flesh. Yeah. Can I... Yeah. How can I... How can I drag? Because I, I figured the solution was to, to bite her and pull, right? That doesn't seem to be working. Oh, I can just I can just paint on her. What if I just bomb her? Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't think maybe maybe this is something that I'm supposed to discover at a later time how I'm able to drag people like that. Because that's, that's not doing anything. But we know we're generally on the right path for what to do with her. We gotta drag her into the light. Okay, so we're gonna head up this hill. But we're gonna keep following up the hill instead of hanging a right. And I guess we're gonna head to this big sun gate. Yeah, just try and get me. This is quite a walk. Let's -a go. Yum. Yep, that's a uh, spooky looking village, all right. You guys seem like you're doing well in here. <laughs> Yikes, what's this creepy evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse zone here, but I definitely sense evil. Is it the capitalism? It's probably the capitalism. Oh, I'm draining. I'm draining ink here. That's actually interesting. Is it better inside the houses? Are those little, like, voodoo dolls hanging outside to ward off the evil? Nope. I wonder if the flower bed's coming back to life yet. It used to be full of flowers all thriving on the fountain water. But then the wind stopped and the water dried up, and now... But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. I was chatting so much during the day that I've lost my voice. I need to give it a rest now. Flowers were so pretty here, but now it looks like it's filled in with dead grass. All right, well, let's let's take a look. I like. I like that the vibes are just very grim. Like not even not even water or not even music. Oh. No go, Furball. Your celestial brush ain't gonna work in evil power this strong. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, but the mirror will still recover my... my energy. Of all the luck, I wanted to do some trading over at the Gale Shrine, but it's been taken over by some monster and it's panic all around. 
Ah oh, well, I suppose I'll just have to make the best of it now. Have you been sent here to do some shopping for your master? Yeah, what do you what do you got? Infinity Judge? Reflector marked indelibly with the loop of infinity. Judge is evil. Yes. And I'll buy a, a pinwheel. Gold dust, powder made from golden earth that unleashes the potential of weapons. Dang. That guy really just had everything a, a dog could want. Do I have anything I can sell to him as thanks? Nah. Okay, so let's... I, I like... I don't know what Judge's Evil does in this context, but... I'll power up the Infinity Judge and just make it even cooler. Oh, and now it's daytime. But daytime doesn't do anything different. Hey, you two. You know, the priest of the shrine was gobbled up by that monster. I'm sure that's what stopped the divine wind from blowing. Monsters have been attacking the Gale Shrine, you see. The strength of the Shrine God is growing weaker and weaker. The Divine Wind used to make the windmill there turn like a charm. But that's not all. Alright, well, let's do ourselves uh, some good and head up towards that. Yeah, that still won't work. Uh, where can I refill my ink? Because I'm very low. Are you? Oh, this is most unfortunate. I've been possessed in a momentary lapse in vil vigilance. And I was trying so hard to defend this village. Now it shall be reduced to a horrid cursed zone. Alas, my strength. It wanes. All is lost. Oh, that's not good. Hey. Hey. Oh, why are his legs so square in that painting? Hey. Respect women. Yeah, I still can't paint in this. Interesting. Did that... Did that do it? Are you not possessed anymore? Oh. Hmm? Have I been freed from the evil curse? You've saved me, but I do not know how. What the heck happened, sweetness? Oh, Isen, just stop. Oh, are you familiar with my family, the Satomi House? N no, I can see now that you are not. Still, you may be of great service to me yet. Will you not listen to what I have to say? You just keep talking, pretty lady. Isen's listening. Dude, I'm gonna make him into Wuzzin. Oh, thank you. I'm Princess Fuse, Priestess of the Gale Shrine. Hey. The Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Kamiji. Kazagami, the god of wind, is enshrined there. The wind blowing down from there keeps the monsters away. Known as the Divine Wind, it is venerated as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day. And that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Will you hear the rest of my story? There's only one explanation for why the Divine Wind stopped. It is that horrible monster, Crimson Helm. The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Crimson Helm's control ever since he appeared in Taka Pass 100 years ago. My people, the Satomi House, Keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest while he was weakened by sickness, and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. Ooh, I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only I could vanquish Crimson Helm and free the Gale Shrine. But I'm no match for the evil barrier that now bars entry. There's only one hope now. Only the warriors who serve the Satomi House can right this wrong. Or me. Okay, the Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the shrine and served the Satomi House for ages, but alas, they're now scattered throughout Nippon. 
if we could bring them together again, they could break the barrier and retake the shrine. Really? Then why don't you just summon those puppies on back? I've already tried, but I've yet to receive any word of their coming. I sense their presence nearby, but have yet to find them. What if they were attacked and injured, or even worse? I beg you, would you please sniff out their whereabouts? You might find this useful. Oh, thank you. Free stuff. I, I obtained Canine Tracker. Dude, my parents could have used that yesterday. <laughs> Their dog ran out of the house. I sense five of the Satomi Canine Warriors here in this village. They're a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly to strangers, but they should return to me once they see the Canine Tracker. It'll guide you in their direction. Please use it, along with your strength, to find them. Eh, leave it to us, sweetness. We'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see how she thanks us, Amy. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. I see you here. Free stuff. A dragonfly bead. And a lacquerware set. Alright, so I'm going to keep an eye out for the pings. Hello, birds. People pray to these little guys for a safe journey. Look at all that moss. They must have been here forever. All right, we'll see the bird. We'll f feed the birds real quick. I guess seeding them also is accurate. There we go. Birds love us. I gotta back up a little bit so I can see both me and this on the same screen. Oh, I see you up here. You're looking kind of lonely. I didn't think I'd be able to see it. My grandpa said he said so he saw some kind of island floating in the sky. Surely that's impossible. My grandpa said there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know, though. It's all a bit far-fetched, if you ask me. What if I just painted an island in the sky? Like, yeah, there it is. No, that's the sun. Okay, well, if you see the sun... That's that's good enough. Oh. I don't know when the monkeys got here. But sure, we'll make them happy too. Shout out to the monkeys. Gotta walk carefully. Oh, you again. Haha! Aha, I'm Blockhead. Yeah, all right. Hey, haven't I seen you before? What are you talking about? I am the one and only Blockhead. And those who would claim otherwise are in for it. You trying to break through my airtight defense? All right, all right. Hey, buddy. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh no. I I messed up. One, two, three, four. Huh? Were my weak points so obvious? 
Yeah, I ripped that guy. Any dog? No, just free stuff. Ooh, bullhorn. Except that. Uh, I guess we'll just head back down to the village from here. So she said all the dogs were in this village. Or she said there were five in this village. I don't know if that's all of them, but... Oh no, we missed having 69 praise. I didn't even notice it until it was too late. Oh. Sounds like we might be in luck. Oh, there's more chickens here. I'm I'm trying to remember to feed the animals more often so we can actually get the get the free praise from that. I almost missed that this cave existed. Where does this go? Oh. Howdy. What's a dog doing here? I think he's trying to say something. Let me listen carefully. I can understand some animals. It's wagging its tail. That is that canine tracker you've got there. What's that? Give me some food. I'm hungry. Sheesh. We just met and it's begging for food. What terrible manners. Okay. Um... There we go, a meat feed bag. Hey. Do I just have to use the meat feed bag from my tools? There we go. You happy now? I'm full. My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. However, I didn't want to go straight home. You hear that, Amy? That means this dog is one of the Satomi Canine Warriors. Oh, look at Ko. Now that my stomach's full, I will return to my master. And off they go. The way Princess Fuse talked about them, I thought they were human. You think these flea bags are going to be any help? Okay, so... Two... Two points of contention on the ignorant shit you just said, Isen. First of all, I'm a dog. I'm being of help. Second of all, she literally called them canine warriors. I don't think you get that title by being a dude. Alright, more glass beads. There's more stuff up there, but there's... Can I go up this... Check out those big old carp streamers. They must look awesome in a strong wind. But without any wind, they're a rather sorry sight. Can I... I can't... I can't use them as a walkway. That's fine. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna need to buy some more feed bags then. And while I'm here, I'll sell some treasures. Now I have some now I have some feed bags on me.
All right, let's fix this spot up. Why is the tracker freaking out here? Is the is the dog buried in evil? Oh shit, it was. It's probably fine. Dogs be like that all the time. It's wagging its tail too. Must be that canine tracker you have. Give me some food. I'm hungry. How do these flea bags think we're gonna feed them? Okay, well, here's the thing, is that we are gonna feed them. Because we understand what it's like to be hungry and also assaulted by evil on all sides. It, it really is the dog experience. You, you do everything you can for them and they're like, yeah, but have you considered also feeding me? Oh, good old canine warrior shit. Can you believe these guys? Yes. They're out! They're out! The flowers are out! I gave them water every day, you know? I'll keep on watering them too, for as long as it takes. Okay, that's a more innocent, uh... Or a less... Cruel, uh, way of using our powers to make people think that they were effectively doing something. Okay, that fountain uses wind power to pull up water. But, like, we made one guy think that he could fight, but we just made this kid think that she brought the flowers back, which is significantly nicer. Anyone in this house? Wait, do we have to check the houses for dog, do you think? Okay, actually, no, the tracker isn't going off, or the tracker doesn't follow me into the house. So I feel like I don't have to go. Oh, hey, it's our boy. Yeah. No, no, not that. By the gods, I vowed to, you won't ever. No, oh, it's Susano. He's one tenacious dude. wonder what he's doing here. Yeah, but he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by monsters. He seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. That dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to the village. Hey there, Pops. Floundering around in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Poochie. And the little bug. Oh, uh... <laughs> here to disturb my meditation again. Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work devising strategies for defeating that crimson something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Gale Shrine, but lo and behold, that crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well-thought-out plan. Now, now, where was I? Plan? Yeah, right. That's just your excuse to sleep. What a, what a little bastard. Little bastard man. If, if this is me digging up one of the dogs... Okay, I was gonna say. That would have been hilarious if I just dug one of the dogs out of the earth. Hey, you. I'm not even going to talk to him, because I know- I, ju I just know. I just know he wants me to feed him. That's just a thing that he wants. I should have also considered the fact that the- They would probably just hand me a feed bag. For some of them. Alright, buddy. Prepare yourself. It would be extra funny if he wouldn't go back unless I talked to him before I fed him. I'm full. Or if this was the one that just didn't want food. Alright. Head on back, Ray. Thanks for everything. And by that I mean nothing. Alright, 
so that is... I think that's three that we've done now. I'll just kind of follow along this path for a little bit, see what happens. Mr. Bamboo? Yeah, what a pickle I'm in. Huh? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. I'm a craftsman, and I work with bamboo, as, as you can see. But I can't get any to work on right now. Oh, I shouldn't burden you with my problems, Wolfie. Oh, Mr. Bamboo. Boy, that must be some big pickle if you're confiding in a wolf. Eh, oh, hello there, little sprite. You're here to listen to an old man ramble? I always gathered bamboo over in Sasa Sanctuary in Taka Pass, but I haven't been able to get in there lately. Dude, they're probably, they're probably like brothers, or at the very least, distant cousins. The Sparrow Clan suddenly closed the entrance to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, how I do wish I could craft my bamboo ware. I'm an old man, and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's just around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Oh, that ain't the end of the world, Gramps. Uh, it, it might be. What have we got ourselves mixed up in now, Amy? We're going to be heroes. That's what we've got ourselves mixed up in. I'm going to look in his house for a second, though. I'm going to absolutely trash his home. Oh no, we're consuming bamboo shoots. Guess it sucks to be you, huh? Okay, he's definitely related to Mr. Orange. He had oranges in his dresser. Can't just can't just make them grow. That's fine. It's a major bamboo right there. And Mr. Bamboo really must love his work. Oh no. How? What's a dog doing here? It's wagging its tail too. Alright, Chi. Some dogs. How did how did she even get into the bamboo? That's that's what I'm more impressed by anything. All right, so there's four canine masters. How many of these canine warriors does this make? Maybe we should go talk to Princess Fuse now. Wait, she said there were five. I think. I think we've sent back four, and I think it would be really funny if he just thought we were the last one. Is it just floating around us, or is it pointing in the general direction of the next dog? I think it's just floating around us. Oh wait, the last one is just here? Hey dude. Hey, Amy. That flea bag is giving you the evil eye. I think it noticed that canine tracker you got there. My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. Oh, this is the only actual... <laughs> this is the one who actually follows orders. But first, I wish to try out the skills I've honed on my journey. Princess Fuse forbids me to join in fruitless battles. But I want you to prove your right to bear the canine tracker. <laughs> You've got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. Well, bring it on, you flea bag. Right, Furball? Pick a fight? Yes. Yep, there was only one right answer. I don't know who this flea bag thinks he is, but he's in for a surprise. He's just gonna beat our asses, isn't he?
Bomb the dog. Hey, Kenton. He's seen some shit, sir. Yeah, he's the. Uh, he's had it rough. Here, have one of these. Oh no. Wait, Mr. Opportunity, he's seen some shit too. A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight where we have more room. <laughs> Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Right on, Fleabag. You're gonna wish he went straight back to Princess Fuse when we're done with you. Hey, wait, if he's been summoned by the princess, then maybe this is another one of the Satomi canine warriors. Oh, are you just picking up on that, dude? Ooh, Tay, I'm done toying with you. Now you shall feel the wrath of the Satomi power orb. Uh, um, I, I'm a little afraid. I thought I'd heard something out here. <laughs> you immediately. I'm sorry, I love the immediate 180 into, like, standing at attention and tail wagon. You two aren't fighting, are you? You're fighting? Yeah, of course not. Just some friendly wrestling. Look, not a scratch on either of us. Except for the countless scratches on him. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi power orbs. But you've been naughty doggies. Why did you not come home immediately when I summoned you? <laughs> hey, Princess, what, what's with those Satomi power orbs? Each Satomi canine warrior bears the orb, an orb of a different virtue. The power orbs are the Satomi house's greatest treasure. I need the orb's power to break Crimson Helm's barrier. But the canine warriors never listen when I summon them back. And three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them. But there's no one I could send out to help them. Except for me. Hey, what's with that look, lady? Okay, okay, I get the hint. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all, I said we'd get them all back without a scratch. Wonderful. I'll be forever grateful. I know the general locations of the remaining three canine warriors. I shall mark them on your map. Okay. Ah, uh, so one of, one of them is in the sanctuary, so we'll have to figure out how to get in there. But the other two are in places we've been before. You have the canine tracker. They shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is, if they've not been injured, or even worse. Please hurry. We must get the power orbs and break the barrier. Are you a wolf? Where were you born? Yeah, come to think of it, where were you born, Ami? I want to talk to the next one. Nippon is covered in evil. We're no match. You got that right, you mutt. That's why you gotta help us out here. I'm trying to talk to all of them, but I keep talking to the ones I'm not intending to. You bear strange markings. Is that some kind of new style? Huh? Oh, those red marks? I seriously doubt it. Dude, that's a good style, though. The canine warriors have yet to gather. Tardiness is unacceptable. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what a hypocrite. Okay, yeah, I was about to call him out for the same shit. Hey. Worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight again one day. Yeah, you got it. Amy will take you on any time, right, Furball? Alright, so... That marks... I think the end of what we can do in this village, because we need to find the other three dogs to come back here. Which means... We're off exploring now. Oh, right into the water. That's fine. We'll save on our way out. Because we covered like a half an hour without saving there. Okay, so... This means... We can't do the sanctuary yet because we haven't found the, the bird princess. 
We have yet to find a bird. Oh boy. Everything's fine. What if I just draw it directly underneath me? I can't do that, apparently. Okay, so we're gonna head left here and see what happens. See where we go when we get over this way. Ooh, a shrine to destroy. Bring it on. Get some sashimi. Come on. I feel a little bad for cutting them in half. But then I stop feeling bad pretty much immediately. Just feed these deer real quick. Is this that I'm digging up? Oh, that's just a whole ass treasure chest. Oh, those are little foxes. I thought they were squirrels when they were jumping up to me, and I was very confused when seeds and herbs were not a uh, valid option. What are you up to, buddy? There, there, there. There it is. My pendulum's calling out to me. The treasure must be buried here. What are you staring at, Pooch? Want to help me dig up the treasure? My pendulum showed me where it was, but I've completely lost track of where that was now. Must be some kind of clue around here somewhere. Okay, um, it was over there, but yeah, sure. So I have a feeling... My thought is... Once we figure out what's going on with the other dogs and bring them back to the village and clean out the windmill, we will get the power to create wind with our paintbrush. And then we can, like, blow away leaf piles and stuff like that. But for now, we are screwed on that front. Oh, what a cute little doggy. Are you stuck here too? That big bridge over there, people call it the Big Drawbridge. Oh, that I would have never guessed. It's what links Taka Pass with the city. As you can see, they keep the bridge raised these days, though. I wonder what's going on over in the city. Hey there, Pooch. You open it over to the city, too? I'm afraid no one's going anywhere with the Big Drawbridge like that. Even the checkpoint guards don't know why it's been raised. I bet there's something a bit fishy going on. Oh, you have more to say. Hey, you understand what I'm saying, eh? Want me to let you in on a rumor I heard? Apparently there's some mysterious illness in Seon City. I wouldn't normally believe that kind of rumor, of course, but thinking about it when I first heard it, well, it was right around the time the bridge was raised. If the rumor's true, then I guess there's no hurry to leave here. I'm sure that's fine. Are you... Who, what are you shooting at? Hello there. What's the matter, Poochie? Why the sad look? You'll never get anywhere looking like that. It's bad luck. I'm Yoichi, the greatest archer among all the city guards. The greatest archer, Yoichi. Holy smokes, that's some bow you got there, mister. What's this? You brought a friend along with you, Poochie. This is my trusty bow, Goldenfire, the most powerful in all the land. Guarding is rather dull work, so I pass the time practicing archery. I'll show you what I can do. Watch this. 
It'd be really funny if you just shot the bridge and put it down. Wow, bullseye. Pretty good, eh? There's not a target golden fire and I can't hit. Now, my friends, why not have a bite to eat and relax a bit? So, he's just putting all his arrows into that cannon. It'd be really funny if we set the cannon off and it just fired all the arrows back. What is it, Poochie? Do you want to pass through to the city? Well, we have a problem then. I was guarding the city checkpoint when suddenly the order was given not to let anyone enter. Look, see how they raised the big drawbridge on the far bank? Normally I'd fire a flaming arrow as a signal to lower it. But there's nobody at the guard post over there. wonder if my comrades in the city would notice if I fired an arrow. No matter. I don't have anything to light an arrow with anyway. You see, the sacred flames of the phoenix statue suddenly went out. And it's been one thing after another lately. Anyway, at least I can get some well-earned rest. Why not have a bite to eat and take a break with me? Oh, it's daytime. What happens if I just... No? Okay. It was worth a shot. I'll talk to the other guard in a second. I just want to see what's down here. Mother tree. Don't attack me. Whoa. That works. I'm assuming there's not much of interest over here. There's a lot of fire up there. And something to dig up. Alright, and we'll rush back. So, I have a feeling this area I won't be able to do anything with until I have some mastery of fire. I wonder if uh, the reason the princess left and never came back is because she went to this city and maybe they closed the gates. Whether they were knowingly trapping her inside or not. Oh, I was trying to read the sign. Big drawbridge. Uh, what? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is the checkpoint for Seon City. This big drawbridge is the only way in or out, but no one's allowed into the city right now. That's an absolute order from Queen Himiko. Say, you know the phoenix statues that protect this checkpoint? Well, they burned with the sacred flames that drove away evil, but they suddenly went out one day. Now I'm afraid monsters are going to sneak up on me when it gets dark. The sacred flames should never go out. Maybe that rumor is true. Oh, you know that rumor about the huge cursed zone? Everyone's up in arms because it happened so close to the big day. I mean, the Kamiki festival held each year. Plus, it's the hundredth festival since that monster was defeated. So everyone's saying that it's the hundred year curse. Uh... Okay. Uh... Now the big drawbridge is raised, I can't get home. Okay, same as usual. We'll just quickly see if they have anything worth looking at. Oh, Exorcism Slip L is big. Okay, so this is a second area that we can't really do anything with right now. We'll save on our way out just to be just to be sure.
Okay. So, what does this leave us for possibilities? I guess we could go get the two of the other dogs. Let's not forget that we have... Well, let's look at the travel guide for a second. Bonus system in what is known as the Floral Finisher. Okay, defeat enemies quickly or without taking damage. Okay, the Floral Finisher. Time warps and slows at the moment a demon leaves this mortal coil. Use the brush at that instant to turn their cadaver into Florida. Their resentment will crystallize into a demon fang. The required technique differs depending on enemy type. You'll need to discover which celestial brush power to use. Okay. Oh, drawing dots on enemies with a weapon capable of the ink bullet attack will transform your ink into holy projectiles. Remember, the more dots you draw, the more ink is consumed. That'll be cool to try out. Okay, um... I guess we'll poke into the village on the way by just to see if anything happens. Like, who knows, maybe the dog's just hanging out at the front gate. Nyom, bye. We'll probably have to feed them. Yeah, I have a feeling... Yeah, the boss is fuming. His precious daughter's been kidnapped. Yeah, they're not going to let us through. But what if I don't need you to let me through? We do love the Yakuza Sparrows. Speaking of, i got to play more of those games. I've still only played the first one. Oh, and by the first one, I mean... Uh, like, Yakuza, like, zero, or, yeah. So, not the, the first one, the zeroth one. I enjoyed what I did play, it's just, it's, it's definitely one of those games I've got to take in, like, shorter bursts. Like, I, I probably couldn't just marathon the whole series one to whichever number the newest one is. Okay, so... Hello, Doug. I guess we'll head back this way and try and find, uh... Try and find the other dogs at least. Hi guys, bye guys. Yeah, there are a lot of bigger game series that I want to get into and devote some actual time to. I still gotta finish the newer God of- well, I still gotta start the newer God of War. I haven't played the Horizon games. I still haven't played the Last of Us series. Don't whistle at me. Wait, is one of the dogs in the Deep Abyss? Have I played Baldur's Gate yet? I have not. I have very much not played Baldur's Gate yet. This looks fine.
Ooh, roasted meat. And roasted fish. We love free stuff, honestly. Yeah, it's uh it's one of those games that like I have I have stuff I wanna do and like stuff I wanna work on. And I know that the moment I start playing Baldur's Gate, it's going to like absorb my every thought process until I finish it, and I know it's a long game. So I'm being very careful about when I want to start it. Wait, is the dog in the trees? Oh, he's almost certainly in the trees. Yeah, I got I got gifted it by by my friend Loon. Uh, I was like, man, I really shouldn't get this game because it's going to absorb my life. And then in response, she said, "Happy birthday, bitch," and gifted me Baldur's Gate three. So now it's that much more tempting because I I wasn't gonna let myself get it until it was time to play. but now it's just sitting in my library awaiting me. Okay, so I don't know if the circle was meant to be just like the dog is near this area, or if it was like... the dog is specifically where the circle is. That's just time turning. I heard the dog howl and I'm like, hey, there's our boy. Oh, shit. Fight time. How does this... Okay, the... Oh no, I don't think the weapon I was using... I don't think the weapon I'm using is capable of the bullet thing. Okay, uh... If I were a dog... If I had that dog in me. Well, first I'm going to make it daytime so that I can get the uh, er, the people back out. Where's that kid at? There he is. Hey, you fishing? Oh, it's you again. Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? He's always with me when I'm fishing. He disappeared while I wasn't looking. You don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? Water in Deep Abyss has always been a bit murky, but today you can barely see into it and the surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoken. People call it Whopper. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. Oh boy, are we gonna fish up the Whopper? You don't think Whopper swallowed up Ume too, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe I'll go talk to that lady who's visiting Toshio Spring. In. No, I, I don't think. Hamburger, cheeseburger, big map, whopper. I just want to get out of the water. Okay. So, my next guess then, in all this, is that is that the dog was also swallowed by Whopper.
That's the wrong thing for the menu I'm trying to find. Okay, zoom out. I need to head out. That away. Let me just cross the water here real quick. Carefully and without much issue. There we go. Because, yeah, if the tracker isn't coming up here... Oh. Hello? Kushi? The water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. Here's the barrel. What you up to here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, Snowy and Issen. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at Hitoshio Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister. Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? Oh, I thought she was making the purification stuff and she was making eight servings of it, but it's just called eight purification. That's right. It goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shiranui. It was the miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. By, th by the way, sweetie, I was wondering. You plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all the villagers. So I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you going to fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a good point. Hadn't thought of that because Susano usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it was as light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. How silly of me to not think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Is it silly, girl? Uh. Aha! Ah. Uh, ah. Nope. No, that, that's not a thing that works. Eat. Oh. I wasn't expecting that to work, honestly. Okay, uh... Oh, don't worry about this for now? Okay. Oh, I like that I drew a circle here so that I could draw a circle here. I assume some kind of water control is something I'm going to unlock later. Is this where I want to be? To Shinshu Field. That feels right. Okay, so one of the dogs I can't get because... He's in the city where they're keeping, or where they won't let me in until I find the bird girl. One of the dogs I can't get to because I assume he's deep underwater with Fish Boy. 
which leaves precisely one dog down this way that should be able to be found in the village. Or is, I think this is the path back to the village. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, the canine tracker. Perfect. Okay, so this is forward progress, at least. Whoa, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. Yeah, okay. So that definitely means that the other two are far enough outside of my range that I... Are you... Have you been one of them the whole time? How long are you planning to just sit there? You remind me of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Dude, Hayabusa? Have you come to take me back to my master? You must be on an errand from Princess Fuse if you bear that. But I shall not move from here, for the festival will begin soon. You... Bastard. You gotta be kidding me. You're one of the Satomi Canine Warriors, and you're ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival? Come back here tonight. We need to have a man-to-man -man talk. <laughs> Don't you mean dog-to-wolf? Oh, boy. Okay. Hey, you. Not long till the festival now. We have fireworks in the evening, you know? It's all very pretty. And a little eight purification sake while you watch them? Oh, yes. They say a legendary monster was defeated when it got drunk off of it. That's how good it is. Good enough to inspire outlandish stories. Okay. Uh... Huh. So... I have concerns. Namely... I need to get... If the festival is tonight, unless unless it's literally just like a wait for nighttime thing, because the dog wants to talk to me during the festival, but but uh, Coochie wants to get the sake for the festival, and if there's if there's no sake for the festival, they're not they're, are they not going to have the festival? And then there's the whole thing of hey. Sacred tree in full bloom. What beauty, but evil still lurks in these parts. Concentrate. Look hard. You see, right behind you now. Yeah, I see it. Gaming. Alright, so that's just free fights for free money. Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly 16 sec- Thank you, dude. I don't know what you are that you're not a human, but... Okay, so I need... Yeah, basically... The festival, I assume, would be on hold until she comes back with the sake, but she can't have the sake until I figure out how to do something with water. Supposed to talk to the kid back in the forest? Okay. I thought I had talked to him, because he, he said some stuff about his dog getting dog-napped by uh, by the Whopper. And I thought I'd exhausted his dialogue for that, but maybe not. Wait, if it is if it is getting to nighttime, I'll see if the festival actually starts or if it just runs nighttime and that's that. Uh, yeah, Kushi left for this. Yeah, she's talking to the spring. Why are you eyeing me like that? I'm still on the wagon. I'm just a little bit worried about the festival sake, that's all.
Yeah, I'm just going to I'm going to quickly see when it shifts to nighttime if it'll it it probably it won't. It won't. I'm deluding myself into thinking Taking care of that. And now it's nighttime. Oh, it's fight time. So we know the most basic dudes will go away with uh, a slash. Wait, this is this is where I want to be, right? Yeah, I got a forest. I got a forest. It's nice of them to let me cover some of the distance by just swimming so I don't have to keep pausing to draw lily pads. Is that where those two are? In that house, probably? Oh no, he just hasn't left from here. Hey. Yeah, so he said he's going to talk to the lady who's visiting the spring. Talking to her, she said that she's getting water for the festival. I can't get any of the dogs until I finish other things, but I don't know how to trigger any of those other things. I accidentally headbutted her, but she is, uh... Does she have more to say, or is she just... I wonder how I'm gonna get the spring water into the barrel. Okay, I keep saying that she has new... Can I just... Yeah, that's... Hmm. So I need to figure out how to get 
water in that barrel. But I don't have any kind of ability to control water. Um, work. He thinks Sasa Sanctuary is first? Okay. So I need to figure out where this bird girl has run off to. If you happen to remember... Do you have anything that would point me in the right general direction for discovering more information on this Sasa Sanctuary missing girl? Hey. Isn't this the bear that was sleeping back in Hannah Valley? Man, he's still sleeping. Let's call him Sleepy. Newly dubbed Sleepy. That's one happy bear. Seems he really likes spheres. Hey, that's animal abuse. Okay, well... Here, let's give him a new sphere. Just explore the zone that's connected to Sasa Sanctuary. All right. Listen, all I'm saying is they only complained when I abused the named animal. I, I abused a number of unnamed animals already today. And Isen had nothing to say. I think he's picking favorites. Don't whistle at me. Alright, I'm still not strong enough to break those crystals. What could it be? Maybe I'll talk to the moles again, see if they have anything to say. Hey, buddy. It's you, doggy. You're back. I'm stuck down here underground all the time. But just knowing you'll come to visit makes my heart sore. Well, isn't that special? Come on, then. Let's play. The Molster Dust Cloud Formation. It doesn't matter who wins. Oh, I don't get a choice? Okay. Yeah, that's just like you, doggy. But the game hasn't started yet. This man. Okay, there we go. That makes it easier to see where he is. Okay, that's bullshit. <laughs> Hold on. Also, this is animal abuse. Yeah, you can be pretty tough sometimes, doggy. On to the next round. Yeah, he's... he is not going where he says he is. Because, like, I'm watching his path. I'm 
I'm just gonna wait right here. Never mind, waiting doesn't work. That doesn't work. Honestly, I'm going to see if this strat works. Why is he smacking me like that? Okay, so I think he's actually... They're bouncing off each other underground. Which makes it very difficult to track where they're going to come out because all their paths look the same. Yeah, because like if he runs into somebody, he changes his path, but if he goes straight, he goes straight. This is the most confusing attempt at whack-a-mole I've ever done. And there's like no time to react to it either. I'm just gonna have to like pick two spots and hope that he ends up in in them because I'm not giving up until I get him no matter how bullshit this all is okay and he didn't he didn't bounce that time he went straight into the guy there Like this is this is actually like awful to try and win. No way to tell where he's going to be or when. The paths are impossible to follow. Maybe bombing the holes? I can give that a shot. Nope, I've just drawn a bomb in the air. Bombing the holes only seems to actually hit the one who's at the hole. And you have to get the timing right if you want to get it. This is insane. Like, I can't even tell where the paths are half the time. I, I guess and I got lucky. You're, you're really amazing, doggy. You've got such enthusiasm when you tackle me like that. It's a real inspiration, you know. Thanks for playing with me. Here, I have this thing I dug up. That was awful, and I'm, I never want to do it again. I was... When I was first coming over here, I was afraid that it was going to be like... D you know, talk, talk to him... Or, well, I, I was hoping it was going to be like, talk to him and maybe he saw the bird. But, uh, nope. Apparently not. Wait. 
What are you doing back here again, Mutt? You got some nerve coming into people's houses like this. You wouldn't even make a decent snack, you scrawny mongrel. My husband's caught a nice tasty beast for us to feast on anyway. When it's finally stopped tweeting, we can dig in. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Okay, so... I'm guessing then... Okay, so that's that's frustrating. Because I came in here and I had this whole thing sorted out before they talked about the bird. Before I found out the princess was missing. And the fact that I couldn't do anything made me think that I had to unlock something and come back later. But all it was was that they wouldn't actually let me progress this until I had heard that there was a problem. So I just assumed that this wasn't a thing I could do. Ah, you saw me, you saw me! Where'd that shadow come from? It ain't human, whatever it is. So you saw me. Now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to eat you all up. Bring it on, you ghost. Come out and fight. Yeah, that's that's a little frustrating. I'll wait. Is his mustache also? Oh, th those are nightmares. Thanks. Yeah, honestly, like if I had if I had one complaint about the game so far, that would be it. It's just that. It would be it would be nice to be able to resolve issues before um, before you're told about them because if you assume that you aren't able to do it then you'll just assume that it's something for later and never actually look at it when it's time to look at it because you haven't unlocked anything new yet. Oh, there she is. Oh, it was so awful being locked away by those monsters. It feels wonderful to be free again. Thanks so much, doggy. Here, let me pet you. Oh, she's so enthusiastic about it. My name's Chun, precious flower of the Sparrow Inn. Oh, look at her. Is this the girl that the boss of the Sparrow Inn was looking for? I'd better get home, otherwise Pop will be worried about me. But if I go alone, those monsters might catch me again. Would you come with me back to Sasa Sanctuary, doggy? Ah, this brat's a handful. Ah, oh, well, let's hang with her for a bit. Stupid. <laughs> come on, doggy, let's go. That's actually great. Oh my goodness, the, the perfect escort mission doesn't exist. Except it does, because she just flies in whatever direction I'm running, at whatever speed I'm running. Bye. Like, I was too busy looking at the wall to notice us running into it. <laughs> She'd be escorting you. She really do be. Got that reverse escort mission going on. Let me in. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, you, Scruffy, what are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? The whole Sparrow tribe's on high alert at the moment. No one gets through this gate until the boss's daughter's found. Well, boys, do I have news for you? You both need glasses. Huh? Ch Chun? Hi, I'm back! Chun, are you okay? Boss, boss, she's back! Chun's back! Hello there, sir. Pop! Pop! <laughs> Just bouncing off his skull. I'm sorry, Pop. I won't go out on my own again. Chirp. Uh-oh. Boss is delighted. You sure about that? This white doggy saved me, Pop. You'll give him something to thank him, won't you? Oh, that's so nice of him. The boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay, then. You'd better come inside. Give.
All right, another stray bead. Life's good. Wait, can I just dig these up? Yeah, I can. Perfect. We'll save here real quick. All right. Uh, I'll quickly shatter all your pottery around. Take a look behind here. Nin's got to have fresh, clean water, right? Oh, I like the vibes already. And welcome to Sparrow Inn. I'm a hostess here. Let us know if there's anything you need. Oh, look at this strut. Ah, that's another month in the red. It's bad enough not having any guests, but closing the place. You guys just got... You guys just got rats back here? I'll feed them, don't worry. Your rat problem is solved. They're now guests here. Oh, hello there. And welcome. This is Saxo Sanctuary's long-running Sparrow Inn. Yes, welcome. You're the one who escorted Young Chun, aren't you? It was chaos here for a while when she suddenly vanished like that. But th thank goodness she's safe now. Oh, yes, thank goodness. Who are you just running around all crazy? You're not staying here, are you? No, of course not. I imagine that innocent look is what got you into Sasa Sanctuary. Goodness, everyone is just running, running, running. Are all the rooms just open for me to look at? Hey. Ah, it is you, isn't it? You're the one who rescued Chun. Yes. The attendants are extremely busy taking care of the rat problems, I assume. Or feeding them all. Wait, why are you here if no guests? Oh, I'm stealing his food. The cake, the egg rolls, and the fruit. Delicious. Hey. Well, I've sure ended up in a funny place this time. Maybe the gods are telling me to rest. I have been working hard. But a traitor never rests. That's the salesman's curse. All right. Dude, you don't sell anything unique. I, on the other hand, have many unique things to sell you for money. Because I hear that can be exchanged for goods and services. Alright. Uh, I'll check out the other rooms, just in case. Because what if there's something cool in there? Oh, I'm stealing... I'm, I'm eating so many exotic and new foods. Wait, are they... Do you think they're all bringing food just for this guy? Oh, now there are wolves serving here. Yep, this sure is a strange inn, but the food is just great. Maybe I'm dreaming. I mean, an inn run by sparrows? I mean... I guess if they wouldn't let people in or out until the princess was found, it makes sense that if they had a guest, he he would just be stuck here sampling all the food. And the only way to keep a customer happy is with good food, especially if you if otherwise you've just completely locked them into their room. That's something that like, if you, if you were to lock me into a room for eternity, that would appease me. Hey guys, I know you're... I know you're probably waiting to talk to me, but I just see all this stuff, and I'm just calling dibs right now, you know? Oh, come on.
We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. We want to thank you, too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. We want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. Oh, that's good, because I was taking it anyway. You can rest at the inn down below, and the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Hmm, I wonder if the hot spring behind the end is where I'm going to learn to control water. Oh, the wooden bear. Um, if I were a dog, how would I get to the hot spring behind the inn? I assume I would have to go behind the inn. Oh, maybe this feels right. This feels vaguely hot spring path E. Oh, no. Uh, excuse me, w wait a minute, please. This is Sasa Bathhouse, Sparrow Inn's famous natural hot spring, but I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. Then the water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar. I wonder if it was that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return, but it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bathhouse has this happened. I'm so sorry you've come all this way only to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumsticks. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Cut that out. We hate taking baths anyway. Please start again. I've prayed and prayed and prayed, but it won't flow. This is it. This is the end of Sasa Bathhouse. It's dried up now. What would my ancestors think? Beating myself with my own fried drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you, we don't take baths. Right, for a ball? <laughs> oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. Thanks for coming out, Mr. Bamboo. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Well, there he is. Oh, he, he walks in the worst way. Oh, hello, Wolfie, little sprite. Thank you all for your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow Boss's missing daughter, entry to Sasa Sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you're having trouble with? Uh, no, but that Sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little Sparrow? Please leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will revive the spring. Holy shit, dude. Ah, here we go again. You wish to revive this dried up hot spring. I may be of some assistance in that case. What was that? This bamboo tube on my back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Thank you, both of you. Very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can get deep in the ground. But be careful. Many dangers lurk underground. I'll focus on walking so I won't be able to avoid danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. All right. I'm fine. Very well. Let the hot spring digging game begin. What could go wrong? All right. Use Y and X to break the rocks. Once you get your companion to the bottom, they'll tell you where to start digging. Rocks come in many styles. Pay, pay careful attention to the different types as you make your descent. The game ends when the time limit is up, or if you, have, if you or your companion take damage, you'll lose time. Be careful. You can find more time hidden inside the giant buds, so don't pass them up. Use various celestial brush techniques to break rocks and progress.
No. Don't get hurt, old man. Free money. No, turn around, turn around, turn around, you moron. Hold on. Perfect. I think you can slash him to make him turn around. That makes sense. Wait, is it... Oh. There we go. That feels like we did a good job. At least that was first try. I didn't have to didn't have to go from the start again. I didn't murder the old man. There we go. And does that mean perhaps now that we've opened up the hot spring, we'll see a constellation in the sky and we'll learn water bending. Water! The water's flowing again! You see? I told you, my bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Emmy. Uh, thank you, both of you. I'll never forget this. You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. Oh, and off he goes, hot spring hopping. Look, Emmy, it's happening again. Who could have seen this coming? Ew. Ooh, snake in a bottle. Can somebody let him out? Why is he making monkey sounds, by the way? You're probably fine. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Nuragami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. Moisten the thirsty earth. That is... Thank you. I will. Nuragami? Oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water spout brush technique. Oh no, he's a... He, he danced a little too close to the sun. Fire! I'm on fire! No, the fried drumsticks were a bad idea! Uh, lucky for you, Emmy needs some practice. Emmy, try to put out that fire with the power of water spout. Alright, water spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water and then draw a line. The water's power will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk. You'd better try it before he becomes a crispy critter. All right. Excellent. No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a stream. But the power of water spout doesn't stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet you can create an amazing column of water.
That's what I'm talking about. Now you can control power springs. Hey, I didn't know you could do that. Maybe we could use this to find treasure in high places. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. All right. Oh, speaking of treasure in high places, good luck. Oh. said not so rough. He's no spring chicken, you know. <laughs> oh no, his face. She's stretched. Alright, there we go. Back to normal. Am I allowed to go through here? Gate shut tight. Doesn't look like it's locked. How the heck are we supposed to open this thing? Just bomb the shit out of it. Hmm. I wonder if I can put out the... Hello? No, I didn't think so. Okay. It's daytime now. Alright, let's get out of here. So... Having... Having done that means that we can now go help Kushi with the festival. Which means we can get one of the dogs back. Actually... One of the dogs should be here. Uh, hold up. Because this was a whole this was a whole thing. So if we had left, or right, sorry, back into the hot spring. Swim up the fountain. Pop out here. nothing to do up here. But that path is where we need to be. It's shut tight, but it doesn't look like it's locked. The water's flowing again. I'm saved. My tasty fried drumsticks are saved. I'm in your debt. I'll never forget what you've done for me. If I put everything I have into my bamboo ware, perhaps I could once again help others someday. I must go get some bamboo from the thicket deep within the sanctuary. And that means I'll have to go through that gate. But the gate won't open until this large bamboo tube sounds. And who knows when that will happen. I'll just have to wait patiently. Ah, well, about that, old man. Dong. All right, well, that, there we go. I've proved that I understand. Nyom. Okay, there should be... I'll feed the birds real quick. And then there should be a dog, I assume, up here. Thank you for the praise, birds. Actually, on that note, I should see... I mean, I guess I could upgrade my purse. Just in case. Oh, somebody's grumpy. 
tweet, tweet. Oh, get a load of Tweety here. Hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know. It's Ty. And I'm not chirping, I'm crying. Tweet, tweet. Cry baby Ty. That's so rude. Oh, you're crying. So, what's with that freaky cry of yours? Take's lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Oh, Take. He's my dog. I lost my dog. Tweet, tweet. Oh, I wonder, I wonder why my canine tracker has started going haywire. I must mean... Bonk. And take your peach and run. Oh, hey guys. Y'all want some meat? I should not have given them one of my last pieces of meat. Not when I'm this far out. Foolish error, really. Hmm? Huh? You see what I see, Emmy? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. What if I just... No, no. We're supposed to cut down the bamboo that's lit up. It's so up. I mean, technically I did cut down the one that was lit up. Bingo. Okay, I don't know why that... That should have counted. I... I cut the one that was glowing. What's the dog doing? In, <laughs> what the dog doing? Tweet? Take. Take's back. Okay. What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet? Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think this flea bag's trying to say something. Hmm? White wolf. What right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you're worthy. With this shit again. Canine warrior Gi. Hear that, Emmy? This must be one of the canine warriors. That tracker really set him off. What'll it be? Pick a fight? Hell yeah. Hey, don't hold back now. Oh, I, I don't hold back. Hey, buddy. Oh. Whoa, he's got moves. He's taking like... He's taking like some running starts at me. Got him. Get got, boy. Got my sick dog moves. Cut it out. Leave him alone. I won't allow you to bully Take like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. He's threatening animal abuse. Wait a sec, Tweety. We're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Come on. Say something. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It's my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, Defiler of the Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. In the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be... Oh, what shall I do? I mean... Just beat the monsters and leave? I obtained the duty orb. What's this? The power orb has chosen you. I need worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. Hey, wait a sec. The power orb has chosen you. I'm now freed from my duty. Follow where your heart leads. Yeah, okay, whatever. I suppose it'll all make sense eventually. Is this how they're going to explain me getting involved in the fight with the Crimson Helm? Just like, yeah, you stole one of the orbs, so I guess you're one of the seven dogs that has to go in. Or eight, I guess.
All right, so that solves one of our several problems. I guess next up would be, uh, what a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Anyway, isn't it about time you started looking for bamboo? Uh, oh, you're right. The festival is just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. The night of the full moon. Yep, the Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of the year. You've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods in the sacred tree. This year is the hundredth anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish that bamboo where I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog, I just love festivals. Gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie, I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go! The mermaid coin. Some grubby pocket change. There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of those coins. If true, you could travel across Nippon in the blink of an eye. So I've just unlocked fast travel. They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. Hmm. So as a, as a test. It slurps me in and I can just go... Let's go to the one in Agatha Forest, because that's where we need to go. Seems like the place to be. Oh, yeah, literally right beside her. Hmm. If only you could get water in your weird jug. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? Isn't it strange how the barrel filled up with water like that? Wonder if it'll keep going until it's full. Oh, it's not full yet. Okay, so now we need to get Susano because he was able to carry it like it was nothing. Yay! How wonderful. The barrel's full of spring water already. This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent. Now we just have to get it back to the village. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. What is it? Do you want some of the spring water? Sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way soon. Hello? <laughs> yeah, here he is. Back, you beast! Oh, it's time. Here I am, just taking a walk. And look what I run into. Oh, it's you! Susano. Take one more step towards the lady, and it'll be your last. Oh, there's so many. Oh, no. The, the great Susano, descendant of the hero Nagi, f forbids it. Do not despair, my fair Kushi. Susano is here to save the day. Oh, he's shaking like a leaf. Oh, this looks bad. I swing my sword in the name of love. Oh, he's just saying it. He's just saying it out loud. Susano style sword of passion. Here I go. You. Leave. My. Kushi. Alone. 
Huh? Susano, watch out! Damn. Hey, you did it, Pops. That was amazing. You looked kind of scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. Dude, this guy is crazy. Susano, um, thank you. I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? Susano? I knew it. I knew it all along. Is he gonna think, like, this training sword of his is, like, enchanted with some mystical power? Strange things have been happening ever since then. First, that boulder in Kamiki. Then, that battle with the bear. And now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme! Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's a moron. Gross. Wolf spit. The Magnificent Isn takes offense. Why, I oughta... Hmm? Where's Susano? Where did he go run off to? He left without saying a word. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's time to win the damsel's heart. I mean, at least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here anyway. Hello? That sounded like that Kokari kid. Is he in trouble again? Now oh, you better go check it out, Amy. Oh no, is he fishing up the big one? Ah, canine tracker. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling the big one's here. Because if the canine tracker's appeared and the kid's, the, the fisherman kid is screaming, he's definitely trying to fish something up. Hey, kiddo. Yeah, hamburger cheese. Yep, you're right. Urgh. Come on, kid, you know how to fish. Wow, it looks like you got a big one there, kid. All that noise you were making, I was sure the monsters... Holy shit. Anyway. Yeah, that is a big one. <laughs> he's, just got, he's just been holding on to the dog this whole time. Umehe! Dude, my line snapped. Oh dang, it's almost like you'll need a new one. Curse you, Whopper. I'm gonna catch you. You're gonna pay for what you did to Ume. Well, let's get him. Hey kid, where'd that humongous fish come from? And wasn't that your dog Ume in its mouth? That was the legendary fish Whopper. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. So it really does live in these deep, murky waters. Well, it's gonna pay for gobbling up good old Ume. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left, but I'll snag that whopper yet. This shall be a battle to avenge Ume. Hey, Emmy, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That whopper, or whatever it's called, would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help him catch it. Yeah, let's catch the whopper. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's get psyched up. All right, it's fishing time, boys. Yeah, you get the basic idea. I know. Don't let this be the big one that got away. Do I have to catch the little guys before the Whopper shows up, or do I just have to wait for the Whopper? I think I gotta catch at least one of the little guys. Sorry, fish. 
All right, so that's definitely not a Whopper, but we tried. Ah, oh, Killifish. It'd be funny if it was if the Whopper just had the silhouette of a regular fish. Like it just looked like a little guy. I gotta stay in the sweet spot. What are you? Hello. I got a lobster. A crawfish. My bad. There he is. There's the big one. All right. He really is a whopper. Oh, you, we have to do it multiple times. Makes sense. He is the big one. Oh, he's so thick. You caught Whopper. did it. We really got him. I knew I could do it. I finally caught Whopper. Oh, he looks so worried. <laughs> and here I was so worried about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman. You should be proud of yourself. Dude, is this an actually complimenting somebody? Keep on fishing. Make sure to bring along plenty of line. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about Ume? He's never coming back. Um... Well... Oh boy, the crybaby's back. Don't worry. After all, you... Hmm? Oh, the moon's back. Look, the surface of Deep Abyss is as bright as shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Hmm? Where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? Oh, another constellation already. Dang, that one, that was quick. Wait, am I going to be able to draw the moon in the sky to make it nighttime? Another constellation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then and then I finish it. I like the touch of that one because like we, we couldn't we couldn't see the moon or the stars in the sky, and so we had to draw the stars to start the constellation, and then the stars to finish it. Oh, he's making mochi. Uh, we're we're making mochi. This is what real friendship is. Never mind, he tried to murder me. I also make that sound when I'm angry at someone. Ah, Amaterasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited this day in its belly. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. I, Yumigami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your perilous journey. Yeah, you really did just try to murder us? And do you think we're just going to be pals after that? Because you're right, I need your power. Yumigami, the god of moon power. So Whopper really did swallow up the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique. That one lets you draw a crescent moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. wonder if it really works. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? Only one way to find out. That's the wonkiest curve, but it worked. 
The moon, it's come out. Now you have the power to turn day into night. <laughs> Think of all the nighttime pleasures that await. Listen, I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We still have that matter Princess Fuse asks us to deal with. Oh, and here he is. Hey, it's Ume. He came out of Whopper's mouth. You okay, boy? I knew it would spit Ume out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty-tasting canine. That's both rude and, I guess, kind of kind? Really? Yeah. Never seen an uglier-looking dog in my life. Bro, quit while you were ahead. Now Ume wants to fight us. What, I say something wrong? Just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball here. White Wolf, how did you come to bear the canine tracker? It's a familiar scent in the air. My former comrades. It emanates from your body. What the? Well, it's none of your business how we smell. Just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Hey, wait, did he just say something about the canine tracker? The canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove his strength. I shall be the one to test it. Dude, you are going to be like the third to test it. Okay, this dog means business. Yeah, let's pick a fight. Sorry, kid, we're going to have to beat the shit out of your dog. Bring it on, Snaggletooth. Shoot him. What it, what, oh, he has bombs? I respect the shit out of it, but what? Here, I have bombs too, buddy. Got him. All right, well, I know Princess Few summons me. It's my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, Defiler of Gale Shrine. But this child and his father saved me from certain death. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? Well, Dibs. I'm stealing your soul. You obtained the Justice Orb. The Power Orb has chosen you. I don't need to worry anymore. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through. All right. Well, I feel pretty happy about how this has all gone so far. I think... What I'm gonna do is... I think I'm gonna save and quit for tonight. I'll fight this guy real quick. I'll get one good combat in. Wow, oh, that, that guy takes two hits and dies. That's honestly kind of embarrassing for him. But, alright. Oh, actually, on that note, on that note, now that we have water control... Okay, confirmed. We can finally deal with fire and get the free shit that comes from it. Now 
and we'll take this path up and just see what's up here. What is the benefit to being up here? Is it just to look cool? Oh, maybe it's something that like I'm able to dive into water from heights later. Anyway, we will save for now. We are officially seven hours and 40 minutes into the game. This is a lot of fun and I'm loving like every new power I unlock. I'll listen to the end screen for a sec. Has been very good. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing more. I will probably be back to do more on Tuesday or on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Uh, until then, thank you guys for hanging out. It's been fun. Uh, I will see you on Thursday. Bye. -bye.